Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today we're going to do some meal prep. And I think that I have said this many, many times before, a little prep goes a long way. So I am prepping some items that are going to I guess continue to make me successful or continue to help me be successful this week. So I'm going to turn you around. I'll show you what I'm making this week. I am prepping some soup this week. I think I'm going to prep some muffins this week and I'm gonna get some rice in my rice cooker. Again, all those staples that just having them in the fridge will definitely keep you on track or give you an opportunity to stay on track. Just because you make it, eh, you still have to like, just like have a little focus. But I think that, you know, all of us have been there and for the majority, um, for the main part, I guess that was what I'm trying to say. If I prep it, I'll eat it. So keeping that stuff prepped and in the fridge really helps me out a lot. All right, so I'm rambling already. So let me turn you around and let's get some meal prep done. All right, so I threw some 99% fat-free ground turkey in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and brown that in my, my stock pot. And then here are the ingredients I'm gonna throw in. The garlic powder, chili powder, mild taco seasoning, cumin, corn, pinto beans, stewed tomatoes, diced tomatoes, black beans, enchilada sauce, and chicken bouillon. I'm gonna make up some chicken broth with that. So seven can tortilla soup-ish is what I'm throwing together. Just might be, it's a little cold here in Michigan, so I thought maybe I would just go ahead and throw together a nice pot of soup and it would be good for lunches. And did I mention, I think this one is zero points currently. I think it is. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw this together. And I've done this before, I've done it on my channel, I've done it during meal prep, so I'm really not going to do the whole thing. I just wanted to show you the ingredients as part of my meal prep and just go ahead and throw this together. Okay, so a quick follow up. Here is my soup. It's all done. I'm going to let it cool off. Well, I might have a bowl before it cools off, but I'm going to let it cool off and then I will put it in some containers and then now I have lunch ready for the entire week. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and do those Kodiak protein muffins. I did a full cook with me video on this one a couple of weeks ago, and this has really been one of my new go-to recipes. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll link to that recipe below, and also in that recipe, you'll see where I found it on TikTok. Um, TikTok gets me in trouble sometimes. All right, so just a quick recap. You're gonna need one and one third cups of this Kodiak Power Cakes. You're gonna need three eggs, two medium bananas. I have two large ones here. I'm sorry, three medium bananas. So I have two large, so I'm just gonna use these two. And look how these are gonna be so sweet. They're nice and overripe, which are awesome. Half cup of water, one teaspoon of vanilla. And then you also need three packets of sweetener. So I could use sweetener, I could use the stevia, but today I think what I'm gonna use is my um, vanilla skinny syrups. It's sweet, it adds that extra layer of vanilla flavor. And again, um, I'm trying to find ways to use those skinny syrups and recipes because you know I have a ton of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this all together, put them into a muffin tin, get them in the oven, and then I will have yummy one point muffins here. You'll also see that I have cinnamon. I'm gonna to top each of these muffins with cinnamon. And that way, I'll, I'm just gonna make like a cinnamon banana muffin today and I'm leaving the chocolate chips out. Normally I would use 90, which comes out to be I think a quarter cup of those sugar-free Lily chocolate chips. But again, um, trying different variations of this. The first time I did the dark chocolate chips, I think the second time I use the white chocolate chips, today I'm gonna use cinnamon and no chocolate chips. So I'm gonna keep playing with this recipe until I have so many variations that you guys will be sick of seeing it. But I'm also giving you ways to think outside the box. Maybe you don't like the sugar-free chocolate chips and this might be a good variation for you. Um, maybe one day you wanna throw some walnuts in there. I mean, there are so many different ways to use this base, I'm doing this, this base recipe here that really just think outside the box and you can um, just have these yummy one point muffins 12 different ways. 
All right, muffins are done. I went ahead and decided to top it with a little bit of cinnamon and sugar, and I didn't use enough to even worry about. Again, I left the chocolate chips out of this recipe, so I don't think that's gonna add any points, but they look delicious. Look at that. Can't wait till they cool down and I will try one and uh, put the rest up so that I can enjoy these for the week. Okay, so next up we're gonna make some protein pudding and I thought that I would try this today with some powdered protein powder. I know that I get asked this question quite a bit on my channel about can you use powdered? So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put in 10 ounces. I went ahead and made these marks on my Nutribullet cup because I don't, sometimes it's just, you just don't wanna dirty up another dish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in 10 ounces of some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And then I'm gonna put in two tablespoons of the vanilla sugar-free, fat-free instant. I just wanna make sure that you, you see this, that it's instant right here, because that is, a, I, I think that some people have use the cook and serve and the only way this works is with the instant. So I'm making sure that I point this out today. So I have two tablespoons in here. I'm also going to put in some cocoa powder because I want this to be super chocolatey. And I'm gonna put in, I have a two teaspoon measuring spoon here and we're just gonna put in a teaspoon of that. So this is just Hershey's cocoa powder. Um, you could use store brand, whatever the case may be, but I just have it in this little jar here so that I can keep it over here and not have all those containers out. And then we're gonna use some Quest chocolate protein powder. And I'm gonna put that in here. And the reason why I'm putting everything in this little container here is because when I put it in, the, in this container, I wanna make sure that it doesn't clump up when I throw everything together so that I can dump it in, shake it, and then put it on my blender and then pour it into the containers. Um, I don't know if it makes a difference, but I sometimes have put the pudding mix in and then it clumps together. So we're trying to make sure that that doesn't happen this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump that mixture in. We're gonna put the top on. I'm gonna give it a little shake just to mix our ingredients to make sure that you know we try not to let any of that stick on the side. And then I'm gonna throw this onto my Nutribullet base for about 10 seconds. Okay, we've got that done. And this is what it looks like. Try not to make a huge mess in here. I have two containers here, the same two that I used the last time I made the protein pudding. And we're just going to pour that in. Try to keep them as even as I can. Could grab a spatula and scrape out the sides, but that's pretty clean. So we're good there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the fridge and I'll come back and show you what that looks like after it's sat in the fridge and set up a little bit. And we're gonna see if this will set up the same way that the liquid protein powders do. All right, so stay tuned. We'll come back and take a look All at right, that. So I pulled this out of the fridge. This is the one that I made with the powdered protein powder, the protein powder, I guess it is powdered. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanna show you. Look, it's set up perfectly. So if you're making this, the trick is make sure you use milk, make sure you're using the instant sugar-free, fat-free pudding mix, and you can use up some of those protein powders that you have. You don't have to use the pre-made mixes if you don't want to. So I've got two of these in the fridge. I'm going to try this with more of my powders. I do have at least four or five different powder flavors. So I'm excited to give these a try. Um, again, that vanilla is so versatile because you can turn vanilla into just about any flavor. All right, so I'm gonna put this back in the fridge because I'm gonna have it later. So I just wanted to show you. We're good to go on that. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw together my overnight oats. Now I only need three of these because I do plan on having some scrambled eggs twice this week. So we're gonna go ahead and get these started. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a half cup of old fashioned oats. I'm gonna try to do this without making a mess. So half cup into each jar. And this week we're gonna have peanut butter cookie overnight oats. And how we do that is we're gonna add in some PB Fit. And I'm just gonna add in one heaping tablespoon of that. And that should only add one point to our oats. So one in this one, one in this one, and one in this one. All right, so we've got that in. And then I'm going to put in one pump of the vanilla skinny syrups. That's gonna give us both of our sweetness and our vanilla flavor. And I don't have enough, so I'm probably only gonna make one of these with this one, and then I'll have to open up my other one. But I'll make this quick so that you don't have to wait for me to do that. So we're gonna go ahead and put in one pump in there. I'm gonna take some water, and I'm going to pour the water in just over the top of the oats. I'm gonna pop a top on it. I'm gonna give that a quick little shake. And then I'm gonna put this in the fridge and let it sit at least overnight and I'll have them for the next three days. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these ready and then my breakfast will be done. Okay, so those are done and those are ready to go. I'm gonna get those in the fridge and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video. Uh, say thanks for watching. Um, encourage you to do a little bit of meal prep in your kitchen as well. Because again, just a little bit of prep goes a long way. And if you only prep one meal, just one meal every week, guess what? That's one less meal that you have to even think about. So get in your kitchens, prep something. Let me know in the comments what you plan on prepping this week. And with that said, have a great day and we will see you next video.